Hey guys, it's Gus, and some of you maybe know about the tool belt item called the Dragon Breath. And it's a really good item. Um, it's hard to be competitive on bosses with players who are using it if you don't have it. It's a really good item, and it's sought after. The problem is it's a pay, you can only get it through with Zen. So if you go to the um, Battle Pass... Uh, the milestone two, it's in here. It's the second to last item called the Dragonfire Wondrous item. And well, actually, let me collect these because I'll forget. And then the battle pass will end, and then I think they go away. So let me get that garbage. Okay. So first off, I've done a little bit of testing, and some of it I'm gonna do while I'm making this video. So I was seeing how far away we could be from the dummy, and it still works. And I am right lined up with the beam if you're at the wall in front of the stronghold dummy this is really far i thought with the dragon fire you had to be right up in it well i was wrong and before i start beginning i did a couple things to make sure the baseline stayed i only have on gear that's a constant um uh, i took off the um three journals i took off the dragon set i took off um the weapon enchant uh, I don't have a companion summoned I just wanted it to be the same damage every single time like when I I'm gonna do an aim strike right here and it's either gonna be 23,864 if it's a normal deflect 30,014 if it's a normal if it's a crit it will be 50,363 and a crit deflect will be 40,042 watch there's the 30,014. There's the 23,864, which was the um, normal deflect. So the values are constant. Nothing's, everything's matching what I told you it would be. So damage is not changing at all because of gears. I'm not going to, because this has a 30 second cooldown, this will be a significantly longer video because I have to wait 30 seconds between each try. So you can take my word for it, you can test it, but this is as close as I can get, as far away, I mean, as I can get from the enemy and still hit it with the dragon fire. And what's unusual about the dragon fire is you can't use like your mount power, a lot of your artifact powers. You can't cast it until you're within range and engage in battle. The dragon fire, you can cast anytime you want. So you don't know if you're within range or not. You just gotta know it yourself. And if I go back just a little bit, it will not hit just ever so slightly. So this is about as far as it can get. And watch. So it hits that far away. And if you notice, the damage is 5. It doesn't show on the, um, there's no damage ticks. But if you look in the combat log, it just did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it does 10 ticks of of every 10 tick will be identical except for the um first hit which will be big and remember if you didn't know dragon fire behaves differently on bosses and what i was told in a comment on a previous video thank you and i apologize i forget your name was it varies depending on the number of dots above the enemy's head so these target dummies are two dot enemies so the bigger more dots the enemy has the more damage the dragon fire will do I don't know if that's true or not, but what I do know is on bosses, it does really good damage. So, this is as far as way you, as you can get. And if I use this power right here, called Cordon of Arrows, it places a circle on the ground. And if it says an enemy become, comes within 15 feet of it, they become entangled. So, I don't know how to interpret that if the circle is 15 feet across or 30 feet across. Because it's 15 feet from either side. Uh, I believe it's 30 feet. If that's the case, and this is right here at my toes. Sorry about the field of view. I'm not. Um, it's looking, if this is indeed 30 feet across, it might only be 15. This is looking like a, almost a, uh, so that's going up. I can't rotate anymore because, um. If I move, then I won't be able to hit it with the dragon fire, and I don't want to get in the pos exact position again. So it's looking like it might be like 50, 60 feet, or maybe this is only 15 
feet across. And if that's the case, then it's like 25, 30 feet. This is still really far, which is uh, good for me to know in any melee class because usually we're right up in the enemy's behind. You know what I'm saying? We got we can't just sit back and hit. We got to be right up next to them. But there's times where we're away, like when we're dodging mechanics. And it's good to know that the dragon fire, dragon breath, I mean, hits that far away. And let me give you another visual. It cast it in front of you in a line. So not a cone. A cone would indicate if I was facing this dummy, they would go like this and make a V shape, right? That would indicate a cone. But this says a line. Let me read the tooltip. Uh, deals 24, 947 fire damage to up to seven enemies in a line in front of you and causes fire to spread. I am, I'm not going to be able to test how that fire spreads because um, obviously it's only spread so far. But watch this. So we got one, two, there's four dummies in front of us. And it goes all the way to this dummy right here. So I don't know how far that is away, but that's really far away. Uh, much further than, than I thought. So if I'm right here, this is actually too far away. Watch when it's cool down. I'll cast it and um, you'll see it. I'm actually too far away for it to hit. Watch it hit because I said it won't. Uh, it's just, it's very, you can't stand super far away. But this is still really far away. Now watch it won't hit. See that? It didn't hit the enemy. But if I go up just a little bit more to line up with that beam... It will hit it from right there. Uh, 20 more seconds. Again, I don't have an editor, so I can't verify any of this. If you look at... Oh, I did increase my spider totem. I was trying not to, but it's not affecting. Because I don't have combat advantage up. So, the... Um, well, the power would change. But I, I'm actually wondering if power or anything affects this thing. We're going to find out. See, now I moved up just a little bit to be in line with that beam. And... It hits it now. So this is about the max range. Maybe it's half an inch back. And I don't know how far that is, but that's pretty darn far away. I mean, I like it. Um, now what I want to do is start seeing how stats affect it. If you notice, the dot damage is 50, 54, 59.45 if it's a crit. And what I'm seeing is a crit and a crit deflect are exactly the same. And you judge that based off the first initial hit. It's either 59.45 or if it's a normal, it's 25.43. And I'm not going to go away with the log. Hopefully we'll see it. Uh, but it's either going to be 59.45 or 25.43. Watch. 59.45. The initial hit, uh, we're not worried about the initial hit because that's not what's doing the damage on the bosses. It's the 10 ticks of damage that's doing the big damage that we want to watch. Um, I'm going to do it one more time just so you can see the damage is constant with this. Because now I'm going to start equipping some stuff and seeing if that affects it. And I'm also going to test mitigation as well. Because if mitigation does affect it, what I want to know is if you do the dragon fire before the artifact call, will the ticks get increased damage? Or do you have to wait to cast the dragon fire until after the artifact call? And I think that's something very important to know as well. Because if there, it does take about a second to cast it. So if you do this during the artifact call, you just lost about a second out of your rotation. But if you can do it before the artifact call, then you don't have to. And they're all getting the increased ticks from debuffs. That's a good thing. Okay, one more time. It's either going to be 59.45 or 35.43. And <clears throat> it 35.43. So that... I didn't watch it. Uh, yeah, it was a normal or a normal deflect. Just like I said, though, 35, 43. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quick Rage of Flames. Right there. Let's see if this increases the damage by 5%. And remember, the ticks are either going to be 35, 43... Or 59.45. No stats change when I equip the Rage of Flames at all. So let's see now. 35.43 or 59.45? 59.45. 59 
So guess what that means? Uh, nothing changed. The Rage of Flame outgoing damage does not appear to affect the damage of that whatsoever. Let's see if accuracy affects it. Uh, the thing is, is crit strike does not increase your damage output. Crit strike increases the chance of a crit. And when a crit happens, the damage goes up. But it won't change the damage. But we are getting 5% accuracy. So that means on a deflect, it should go up. But I'm guessing this has no effect uh, just because a crit and a crit deflect appear to do the exact same amount of damage. Uh, let's see what happens. 59.45 again. I don't recall if the first hit was a deflect or not. If it was a deflect, the damage should have gone up with increased accuracy because that reduces the damage lost when a deflect happens. I might have to do this a couple more times because I was not watching the initial hit. That's the only we can't tell from looking at the combat log. Um, hopefully this is a deflect. Oh, oh it was a deflect. Okay, good. And it's 3543. So accuracy has no effect on this dot's damage. And apparently um, outgoing damage has no effect on it as well. So let's go and take that off. So right now we have combat advantage on, which is the use of stat if you don't have combat advantage. And we don't have combat advantage because we're by ourselves. So what I want to see is how crit severity works. Right now we're at... So we can get like 1,700 more crit severity. So if we get a crit, <clears throat> crit severity would increase the damage taken from the dragon fire. If dragon fire is affected by crit severity. So we're going to change this. Just a second. <clears throat> so um, crit will go up. Crit severity will go up another 17. So this will be right around... 69.5 when when we change this modification uh crit severity where are you oh we don't have crit severity that's right Shit. um but combat event okay let's check power so power we're at 89.4 so there's still room to go up six tenths of a percent and even if there was one tenth of a percent we would notice a damage change so let's see if power increases. See, now we're going to go from 89.4 to 90% power. And let's see. So damage should go up if it's affected by power. Remember, 3543 on a deflect, 5945 on a crit. Here we go. 3543. Again, 3543. So power appears to have no effect. Of course, my testing could be wrong. But power and accuracy do not affect it. Now what I have is I have mount power. I have the T-Rex. And the reason I'm using T-Rex is it does no damage at all. It doesn't have any magnitude whatsoever. But it does a 15% debuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast the fire and then cast the T-Rex and see if the damage ticks go up. Remember the initial ticks will be either 3543 or 5945. Here we go. And there comes the Rex. Oh, look at that. So the initial hit was 5945, right? 5945. And then it went up to 6836 for all the remaining nine ticks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine so the first nine were 60 the last nine ticks were 68 36 uh, i'm sorry yeah and then the first tick was 59 45 so debuffs do affect it even if you cast it afterwards that's good to know it appears power and accuracy do not affect its damage uh, my guess is crit severity does not as well Wait a sec, what's my crit sev at? Oh, here we go. I'll just use, um, sorry, my, okay, I'll use one of these until I get the, um, that's crit. That's power. That's crit. 
remember, just so you can verify, 57,000 crit. Now it's going to go up to 58,343 when I get it. Uh, we got to just do this. To there we go. 58,343. Now our crit has gone up 1%. Let's see if we get a crit on this dragon fire. If so, if the damage is still 5943, because we're only worried about a crit. If it's still 5943 or 5945, then crit sev has no effect as well. And that was a crit. 5980. Hmm. Crit sev does appear to affect it. Interesting. 5980. Let me go and change this back to crit. Okay, so remember 5980. Let's see if it goes back down to 5945. We got four more seconds. Hopefully this is a crit. If not, it's 30 more seconds of downtime. And that was a crit. And we got 5945. So crit sev does affect sev yes. Crit, crit would obviously affect the the damp the uh, the um, ability for that to crit more often, but accuracy seems to have no effect whatsoever. Crit yes, accuracy no, power no, outgoing damage, going damage no. So. Oh, debuffs, yes. E debuffs, yes. So, what we've tested as far as crit sev does appear to affect this damage. Accuracy does not. Power does not. Debuffs do. Outgoing damage does not. Hmm, I wonder if combat advantage changes. Now, this is going to change up the whole test because I have to summon a companion to get a uh, combat advantage. So this is gonna change the numbers. So we're gonna go, let's go and summon a companion. Uh, we're gonna go and go, this is gonna change all the stats around. So the value, the two values will change. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the combat advantage value before and after. We're gonna do normal, find out what the two values are. So I wanna do Energon. Uh, well, I forget what it looks like. Um, is it? And there we go. Because I can stay in one place with this one. So <clears throat> let's get the Energon engaged in, engage in combat. Now remember, now we have combat advantage. We're going to have two values. We're going to have a crit and a non-crit value. So we'll go and write those down. So six, seven, eight, six. Six, seven, eight, six. And I believe that was a crit. So now we got to wait for the cooldown again. Uh, six, seven, eight, six. I would like to get a non crit value as well. But whatever this will do, this will either confirm the crit damage is consistent when you have combat advantage. And as you can see, I'm in the combat advantage purple area so that indicates I do have combat advantage oh I can just show you right here uh, you'll see do we not have combat advantage doesn't this sword maybe we don't have combat advantage I thought we got a maybe they removed it oh there's the combat advantage symbol it was that um that right there so we do indeed have combat advantage if you noticed Oh, perfect. Everything's on. Damn it. So let's go and turn off. Um, let's go and remove this. There. Now the damage should be consistent. Uh, combat advantage. Maximum. Spider. The crit is still up. I. Spider's luck. Crit strike. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go and. Um, we're going to go and get rid of those buffs. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the sanctity of the test um, um, the same throughout. Let's go and ensure we get uh, verify we have combat advantage. Because even though the ground may say we have combat advantage, I just want to verify that we do. 
I think it will happen when we get a crit that's non-deflected. We'll see the combat advantage symbol. There we go. So we do indeed have combat advantage. Let's see what the, the Dragonfire does again. That was a crit. And the 6741. So 6741. Let's go and do that a couple more times to see if it remains consistent. And then what we'll do is we'll change our combat advantage value. We'll go from, um, yeah, we got room to play there. Because I'll just swap my, my offhand modification from power to um, power to combat advantage. Okay. So 67.41. Again, 67.41. That was a crit. I believe it was a deflect. Apparently that doesn't matter if it's deflected or not. Somebody needs to test the Energon because you see that has 13, 14 stacks. I don't even know what those are. Supposedly AP game. Curious how much that AP really is. Okay, it's up in five seconds. <clears throat> uh, time, but combat advantage is a little bit more difficult to test. And again, 67.41, it was a crit. We're going to assume we're going to get a crit next time. So what we're going to do is change from power to combat advantage. Because currently, I believe power does not matter. So combat advantage is at 50... 6.7%. It will go up to 59.2-ish. 59.2 when I do this. 59.1. Because I'm missing just a little bit. So 59.1. So combat advantage did indeed go up. Let's see if combat advantage affects this. Watch it be a non-crit this time. It was a crit. 67.41. Exact same damage with two and a half percent more crit or combat advantage so combat advantage no combat advantage does not appear so you don't have to wait until you have combat advantage to cast the um the dragon fire it's looking like the most optimal time to cast it is uh right this the second before artifact con if you don't remember just to confirm the range if i'm right here it will not hit uh, watch. See that? Did not hit, but if I go right there, it will hit. Oh, God, 22 more seconds. Now, the last one I want to do is item level to see if item level affects its damage. But I want to do, and what we're going to do, that's going to be too easy. We're going to go ahead and take off a collar that gives the same combined rating like gold bonus so all we'll do is our stats will stay exactly the same our item level will go down to 1000 because that has a 1000 combined rating um again we're at 67.41 for a crit i don't know what a non-crit is yet that was a non-crit so but you saw it hit so that goes down to 40.11 okay 40.11 okay so if you look at the stats, they're going to stay identical. 86.1, 65.5. These will all stay the same. Uh, just just remember 86.1, 65.5. 86 oh Let me write this down. 86 86.1, 65.5, 64.990. Okay, so if, oh, I wrote down the percentages, 86.1, 65.5, And if you notice, we are not scaled in here because none of the numbers are blue. So we're going to take off this collar and we're going to, uh, what's this collar do again? Stamina, no, we don't want the stamina, we want the gold gain. So we're going to remove that collar, and our stats are still going to be 86.1, 65.5. See, the stats don't change. Our item level went down. So my prediction is the numbers on this Dragonfire will go down. It will be either 6741 or 4011. If it's a crit, it will be less than 6741. If it's a normal, it will be less than 4011. 
assuming item level does affect it. Here we go. Am I close enough? Uh, right there. And and that is 6640, not 6741. So damage did go down. So item level, so CA, nope. Item level, yes. So unless the testing, my eyeballs or whatever were wrong, crit severity does affect damage. Accuracy does not. Power does not. Outgoing damage does not. Debuff, uh, yes. Combat advantage, no. Item level, yes. Now the crit should, assuming this crits be off a normal behavior that all of our normal other crits do. So if you're at 90%, 90, 9 out of 10 hits will crit. So you'll get more crits more often. Uh, it's very hard to test this unless you do like a couple hundred and compare it another couple hundred with lower crit. So we're just going to make the assumption crit does affect it. Um, I'm, oh, so we got these companions on. Just to verify... The outgoing damage is not affected. This is 7.5%, right? So, uh, what was that damage? 66.40? We don't know what a deflect is, but it will be just slightly before below 40.11, somewhere around 3,990, somewhere around that. But we're going to take off. We're going to take off. Um, this will help verify the seven and a half. We're going to take off this seven and a half percent that works on everything, and we're going to replace it with a defensive. Um, mm, oh, it has to be the same mythic quality though. Power combat advantage, which have no effect, right? Because they shouldn't affect the damage. So the damage should still be the same. A crit will be sixty six forty, if our testing is correct. And that was a non, there it is, 6640. So that just helps verify that combat advantage, well, let's replace it with, we replaced 7.5% outgoing with uh, combat advantage power. Let's replace with another one. I believe the blink spider is an offensive one that gives defensive stats. No. Oh, is it blink dog? That's right. Blink dog, I believe. No, I don't have it. Okay. Let's find let's find a one that's mythic and gives us defensive stats. Or non-offensive stats if we have any. Oh wait, what about this guy? Oh, the the battery would have no effect because this is a um not a boss, but we'd have to make an assumption we don't get boss okay, versus dragons. So if you notice, we have lost the offense, the damage, outgoing damage, and um, and offensive stats, and it'll still be sixty six forty, I think, or it should be, unless it's a, a non crit. And that was a crit. There it is, sixty six forty. I think that's pretty good confirmation that that doesn't affect it. Wow, uh, what a crazy time. So thank you for watching and putting up with this testing. I think you'll appreciate knowing how far away we can attack this dummy. If somebody knows how to measure this more accurately from this beam to that enemy and put it in the comments, that'd be great. But it appears to be like at least 30 feet, probably more. Crit severity does affect. As a matter of fact, let's verify the crit sev does affect it. Okay, let's go ahead. We know power and crit. We'll replace this with the wolf. Wait, what's my um? Crit severity is at sixty-eight point five. So let's go and replace. Can you put the wolf right here? Is the wolf only a universal? I'm sorry, only a utility. Mm, there we go. Now our crit severity just went up seven half percent. So if this crits, this will be higher than sixty-six forty. Ready? Please crit. There we go. 69.36. Yep. I'm more than convinced. So crit sev does affect it. Um, if you want, I can verify one more time. 
it will go down to 6640 we'll go and replace it with the um is this the one that gives accuracy yeah so now accuracy just went up to 73 so it will still be a 6640 hit if it's a crit watch that was a crit and it's still 6640 so accuracy definitely does not and if you want to see power just to confirm we'll take off this um we'll take off alpha company so we're losing seven and a half percent power and we'll replace it with bateri that only works on bosses it will still be 6640 if it's a crit six more seconds I, I, somebody always finds a way to improve these testings. So please be critical if you know of a better way or if I miss something. Here we go. Should be 6640 if it's a crit. And it's a crit. And it's 6640. We just lost 7.5% power and had no effect whatsoever. This is interesting. This guy is mysterious. Holy shit. What a crazy guy. Um, Thanks for watching. Stay classy, never winner. See you soon.